a strong push to rural financial services in India. Reserve Bank of India grants 10 entities in principle licenses to open so-called small finance banks. These banks will offer basic banking services to small and marginal farmers, micro and small industries and entities in the unorganized sector. Union Minister of State for Finance Jain Sinha said government is aiming for an 8 to 10% annual economic growth through supply side measures to increase the capacity of Asia's third largest economy rather than risk higher inflation by stimulating demand. Government makes 3,000 crore rupees from the first batch of Phase 3 FM auctions. HT Media wins 10 licenses, including Delhi. ENIL picks up 17 licenses, even as 30% of the stations remain unsold. However, results for three Sun Group companies withheld in compliance with the Madras High Court order. Central Government is working on putting in place a single window time-bound clearance system for layout approvals and building permissions by the beginning of next year. Urban Development Minister Venkai Naidu says real estate sector needs to focus on green building technologies. National Highways Authority of India to go global. NHAI to build roads and highways in Iran, Sri Lanka, Nepal and Bhutan. Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari to soon set up a separate body, NHAI International, to tap into road building possibilities outside India. Economists and experts believe that any rate hike by United States Federal Reserve might not impact India as the markets have already seen huge outflow of investments by FIIs. However, many opine that there could be a fall in commodity and currency markets. Let's now talk about uh, festivities.